Hello everyone, today we are going to look at how to order fractions. I have three fractions here and I want to arrange them such that they are from the greatest to the smallest. Now we learn in class that there are a few things that we need to do before we start comparing fractions. The first thing we ask ourselves is that they give us a diagram and we see there's no diagram, there are no pictures here to help us. We ask ourselves, do they have the same denominator? Denominator 3, 6, 4, nope. Do they have the same numerator? Numerator 2, 5, 3, no, none of them are the same. So let's try comparing to half. Now, we run down the list each time we have to compare a fraction to find out which method we are going to use. So let's try comparing to half first. I'm going to leave this at the side. Okay, so I'm going to think of this. 2 thirds, is this more or less than half? Now, if I have 3 pieces of cake and I eat 2, I would have eaten more than half of the cake, yeah? If I draw a diagram and I split it into 3 parts, yeah? 2 thirds would be 2 out of 3, and so that would be more than half. I'm going to put M there to remind myself that is more than half. Now, let's look at 5 6. If I want half, and if I have six pieces, what would be equivalent to half? If I have six pieces, I would need three six for it to be equals to half, and five six would be more than three six, so this is also more than half. Now, if I look at three fourths, I would have four pieces. Now, what would be equivalent to half if I had four pieces? I would be, be two fourths. Now, 3 fourth is more than 2 fourth. 3 pieces of fourth is more than 2 pieces of fourth. So, I'm going to put a M there. Now, all these are more than half. So, when I compare to half, I cannot conclude which one is bigger or which one is smaller. So, actually, this method fails in this case. And so, we go on to the last method, which is to use equivalent fractions. So, let me give this, erase this off. Now, equivalent fractions is basically that we want to make it to a common denominator. So I'm going to start with 2 thirds, okay? And I'm going to find the first equivalent fractions, which is times 2 on the top and times 2 below. Okay, the next equivalent fraction, times 3, times 3, 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9. Yes, and I'm going to go on. Next equivalent fraction, times 4, times 4, so it be 8. 12. So I'm going to just try stopping here, leaving space if I still need to find more equivalent. Now let's work with 5, 6. I'm going to list down all the equivalent of 5, 6. The first one being times 2 times 2, 10, 12s. Yep, I'm going to stop here because you see I have 12s. Now I'm going to try 3, 4. First equivalent times 2 times 2. Second equivalent times 3 times 3. And I'm going to stop here because as you can see, I have these fractions that all have the same denominator. Okay? Now 2 thirds is the same as 8 twelfths. 5 6 is the same as 10 twelfths. And 3 fourths is the same as 9 twelfths. Now, because the denominators are the same, the pieces are the same size. So I just need to compare the numerators. 8 twelfths is the smallest. Now I'm not going to write 8 twelfths as the smallest fraction because 8 twelfths is equivalent to 2 thirds and 2 thirds is part of the question. So I'm going to write 2 thirds here. Next, so this is out, which is bigger. 10 twelfths is bigger than 9 twelfths. So I'm going to write 5 6 is the greatest. Point now space, I'm going to write there. 5, 6 is the greatest, and if 5, 6 is the greatest, that leaves 3, 4 to be in the middle. And that is how we order fractions. Yep, it is important to go down the list each time you are comparing. Yes, if there is a more systematic way of reminding yourself instead of just jumping all over the place.